Good morning, friends. Country Girl 555 here, Tina. It's Tuesday, the 8th of January, 2013. Day 161 on my Take It Back. And I am up. I got up. <laughs> and I'm dressed. And I showed up. And what I showed up for was my morning routine. Um, I've been very successful in doing the same routine for four mornings straight and I'm sitting at the table and I'm making my breakfast and I'm gonna have my breakfast I'm gonna share that with you now okay first of all I have a crumpet and I brought to the table my Weight Watchers calculator and as you can see I put the points value um, I put the protein carbohydrates fat and fiber value in there and that come up to three points so it's three points for the crumpet I'm having a small tomato, and today I'm having a serving of these red, nice grapes. Um, they're 66 calories. That many grapes is 66 calories. I'm having coffee that I haven't added the splash of milk to yet, because I'm not ready for it just yet. All right? And I've brought out my Weight Watchers Dairy Spread. This stuff is really good, guys. Really good. If you can find this product, I get give it like two thumbs up because it's so good all right i want to show you my how i do my eggs um in this bowl is three egg whites on weight watchers um three egg whites is one point so i'm just adding one whole egg to it that's the way i eat my eggs not like that out of the bowl i do cook them first <laughs> uh, so let's show you what else i have here Okay, I have two rations of bacon. That's bacon. It's one point each. I just grilled my crumpet. And then I slow uh, cooked my um, rashers of bacon. One point each. So on the plate, I have three for the crumpet and two for they're one each, two for the the bacon. So um, there I have five points already on my plate. Zero points for fruit, zero points for, um, I guess you want to call it a fruit, my small tomato. All right, guys? Now I'm going to do my eggs, and I'll show you how that works. So just in a very tiny nonstick skillet, I'm just going to place 10 grams of that Weight Watchers Bread. This stuff tastes really nice. I was amazed, kind of blown away by how how well it tastes. So I just kind of coat the plate uh, the, all the way around. And before it has time to start, shh, <laughs> after I've coated it all the way around, see the tiny spoon? Very tiny. So I just give my egg a scramble. And I'm just going to drop it in there on top of my spread. Be back in just a second and show you. So I'm going to add, that's my eggs going, I'm going to add a white pepper. And this is just ground white pepper. And I'll add a little bit because I really enjoy that. And only like one sprinkle of salt. It's barely anything at all. When you take all the yellow out of the egg, you, you know, you have to replace it with something. So I've just found that the, uh, the salt, it's a really fine salt. Whoops. It's a Saxa table salt. And then sometimes you can put Mrs. Dash, but I do not like Mrs. Dash at all. So I just put a tiny little sprinkle of that in there. And don't do this at home. Don't use a fork in your nonstick skillet. That's not what they're made for. <laughs> but this skillet's mine. It's old. I've used it forever. And I do use a fork on my eggs. 
so now you can see I have my eggs on my plate. So the eggs were what? Four points. Crumpets, three points. Bacon, one uh, point each. So we got four, seven, eight, nine points on the plate. And I wanted to round it off even with a raspberry yogurt. Weight Watchers raspberry yogurt is one point. And when I put a dash of milk in my coffee, it you have to count the calories because you're putting skim milk. But uh, I don't count the coffee as one point until I've had two cups because it's um, the amount you weigh out. Guys, that's my breakfast this morning. I brought to the table my calculator to count my points. And then I have paper to hand to write it all down after I've had it. So that's my morning routine. I'm going to sit in my chair. I'm going to have my breakfast. I'm going to enjoy every single bite. And this meal, um, each slice of the bacon has 7 grams of protein. The crumpet has 3.1 grams of protein, and you've seen all the protein in the eggs. You, surely you know how many, how much protein is in the egg. Uh, all your protein from an egg is in the egg white. The fat comes from the egg yellow. That's why I take out the egg yellow. It's something that I started doing in March 2010, and I enjoy my eggs that way. I think they're good. And this little product made them so much better. I don't have to put the extra virgin olive oil in them and uh, it kind of overpowers the egg flavor. So, alright guys, I will see you later. Ta-da! Okay guys, this is my dinner. These are whole lettuce leaves. And I'm using a baby spoon just like you would feed a baby with. I am getting uh, a spoonful of refried beans. And I put the refried beans on there. And a uh, baby spoonful of mild salsa. And just like a sprinkle of um, Weight Watchers cheese. And I'm folding those up. There you can see the lettuce leaf. I've put one baby spoon of the refried beans around on it. I am putting, now my salsa is chunky because I like it that way. A little bit of salsa. Remember when you eat salsa, it might be a little higher in sodium, so make sure you drink pl plenty of water. And just a tiny, I'm not even going to use all that, a sprig of that, and you want to just fold it over. So there's uh, the carbohydrates from the bread from a wrap is not in there. Finish doing these now. As you can see, I've got six small lettuce wraps with refried beans and mild salsa. And I use my baby spoon. I'm just going to lift up. What amounts to Three teaspoons full. It's my food, my hands are clean. And so, now you know what that is. It's per decadence. I love Fahi yogurt. That is exactly what that is. Total 
0% Fahi yogurt, fat-free, authentic Greek yogurt. This full container is um, three points on my Weight Watchers, right? Um, the serving in it, it holds 10.3 grams of protein, 57 calories, and full carbs, net carbs, and everything else is nil, zero, 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 zero. zero. So I've just put that at the end of my lettuce wraps with refried beans, which gives me my fiber, uh, a little bit of uh, veg from the salsa, and then my other protein is um, mafahi, and of course I didn't use the, the big, you know, a dose of um, the Weight Watchers cheese, but um, for every 20 grams of Weight Watcher trees, you get 6.2 grams of protein and only one net carb. You get 2.1 fat and you get 0.1 on fiber. So these are the products I've used to do my supper. Weight Watchers shredded cheese. This stuff will last a long time. See how much is in there? If you do exactly like it says. Um, and of course, this lasts forever. And then I just, you know, I, you open a can of refried beans. You kind of microwave it a little bit so it's warm. And I, I wasn't fancying the, uh, it's late, and I wasn't fancying to have a, um, an amount of carbs, which would have been the flat. So I'm going to save my flats, my wraps, for a breakfast burrito. Um, I have in mind of making a beef and um, refried bean with veggies, like grated carrots and things like that grated carrots and things like that for a meal tomorrow, tomorrow night. I'm not sure. So, um, you don't have to put any salt on this at all. The salsa has plenty of salt in it. You won't need any more. Right? Uh, what I have on my plate right now with the Greek yogurt is one point because I only used a third of the container, which is three teaspoons. Um, the lettuce, of course, is zero. The salsa is, of course, zero. The refried beans. Um, the refried beans is about four portions in a can to make um, three points. I uh, used, took out the fourth of a cup, I heated it up, and then, then that's what I put on my six lettuce, nice lettuce leaves. So that's three points. So total on that plate, as you can see, total on that plate is um, <clears throat> three for the beans, zero for the lettuce, zero for the salsa, and uh, one for the fahi yogurt. But I have about 19 grams of protein there, and um, two points for the Weight Watchers Reduced Grated Mature Cheese. So all in all, I have four, five, six, seven points on there right now. Um, because I want chicken, hold on one second. Because I want chicken, um, these pre-packed chicken legs, they're already cooked. All you have to do is put them on the grill, and as you see, I just turned them over, all right? This meat is absolutely amazing. They are 86 calories each. I don't eat the skin. I only pull off the meat. And I needed some chicken along with uh, my food so that I'm going to have that as well. I did miss lunch. Sorry about that. Uh, my camera went off. So I took with me a Weight Watchers biscuit, and I'll show you now. You can move this. <clears throat> you can see, I have apples there, right? I have Jaffa Clementine's there. But in this bag, yes, moms, yes, moms. But in this bag, I have a variety of Weight Watcher bars. 
This is an orange and chocolate uh, bar on the run. It's three points. This is a chocolate bar. It's two points. Let's see. That's the peanut bar, butter bar. That's three points. This is more or less a fruity cereal bar, which is two points. Um, that one is a chocolate bar as well. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. There's all, all sorts of them here. So I have a big fruit bowl of all my out the door Weight Watcher snacks. I also have, if you have a sweet taste, strawberries and cream Weight Watchers. They're two points. Um, they're like little sups. This one is a mint. Oh my god, this one is so good. Mint humbugs. And they are absolutely amazing. Two points. And one of my old faithfuls that I don't have very much. These are four points, but they're go-ahead bars, yogurt, break, fresh, uh, uh, break, forest fruit. And so it has a different type of fruit in it. It's 75 calories. So, uh, those are the on the go bars. That's a different one, and I'll have to look peanut loose. This by far is a treat orange covered dark chocolate and it is absolutely amazing so anyway i took a, a nutty bar with me into uh on my today. i was going to take a packet of almonds but i decided no um, almost 400 calories, 327 calories for that. So I decided no. So I really, I, I consumed a lot of water. And while I was out, I had about three cups, very small cups of coffee. I made sure after every cup of coffee, I had two cups of water. So that got me going and kept me staved off with hunger. I'm not overly hungry right now, um, but I do have to fix a nice meal. So this is what I'm having. I won't eat all of this chicken. I will absolutely be pulling the skin from it. But this is all roasted chicken, and uh, sorry if you're looking at my hair up my nose or anything like that. So this is my dinner for tonight, and I have a plate full of protein. The only carbohydrates there are in the refried beans, and the fiber that the refried beans put off, it overwhelms and basically... Um, I have my Fahi yogurt, which, you know, I got some dairy. I got some chicken, which is lean protein. I've got some veggies, which is the lettuce and the salsa. And then uh, my carb is the refried beans, and it is uh, loaded with fiber as well as the lettuce. So that is my meal for this evening, and I hope you have enjoyed that. If I'm still hungry later and I fancy a cup of milk, which I haven't gotten my milk in today, I'll have eight ounce cup of milk and I will have a Belgian Eclair. Mom's already been in it. She had two. <laughs> so they're two points a piece, low in calories. I have plenty enough calories for for it for today. And um <clears throat> Total, total on my plate, I have four, five, eleven, twelve, sorry, twelve um, pro points on my Weight Watchers plan. And as you remember, I had um, ten for breakfast. I have had four cups of coffee today, so that's a total of two points. So ten and twelve is um, 22 plus 2 is 24. 
so I am at 24 um, points for today, Tuesday, uh, the 8th of January. And if I have milk and eclairs, that will put me from 24 up to 32 with a five, five points for my milk. And if I have two of the eclairs, that's four, so that's nine. So that's going to put me at um, 24, um, 29, 32 points for today. So I've done really well today. I got some walking in. My back is in agony, and I'm now going to go sit. Oh, I will tell you about the Hobbit movie. I don't want to spoil it, but it was really good. Really, really, really good. I very well enjoyed it. I watched every single bit of it. And uh, I know I have a few things going on. I'll get them all uploaded, and you will have a video from me from everything that the doctor has said. I am back on to taking really, 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 really strong medications. And uh, last night, the medications really relieved a lot of agony because I was spent after the day at the hospital and the drive and the jarring and around in the ambulance and stuff like that. My back was in too, so I had a rough time sleeping last night. I did, however, get five solid hours of sleep into the morning. I woke up <clears throat> at 11 o'clock, got up, and uh, actually I woke at about 9, but I, did, I couldn't get up because I was doing my 200 kegels, which I've done every single morning. Still no soda. I, uh, <clears throat> as I said, replaced my no coffee goal with uh, um, get up, dressed up, and show up. And I have done that. Uh, I replaced it actually before I even said that I was having no coffee. So I'm fi about five days now with doing that goal. <clears throat> I'm very proud of that because it takes a major amount of energy and just all over body. Okay, you have just got to do this for me to do those physical chores. <clears throat> it also took so much for me to be able to go out and enjoy my evening, but I'm so glad I did. I had a wonderful time. <clears throat> Absolutely wonderful time. <clears throat> One of my favorite things to do, as I said, was thrift shopping. And even though money's low, I did find a few bargains that I couldn't live without. Um, <clears throat> and you know how I am. I, I love books, and I'm a book collector. So... And a lot more variety of just the vampire books that I've been showing you. But I have to say, those books, excuse me, are quite amazing. I've read many books here lately, um, <clears throat> and um, I cannot wait until um, Charlene Harris's new book comes out in May. Or it might be March. Today is David Boy's, is it 66th birthday? And early this morning his new single came out. That's pretty cool. Imagine he hasn't done an album in a whole decade. And um, I just thought that was fantastic. So I'm looking forward to May uh, when his new album comes out in full. But today, out in Wales, in the UK, his single came out, and it is rather amazing. Um, so, David Boy. Ah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Um, this is the end to my food vlog today. I have, uh, as I said, wound up with um, 32 points. I am only nine points away from where I should be um, and I will um, tag along anything different in the down below box thank you guys for subscribing to me and encouraging me and being here with me and through the ups and downs and everything I really 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 appreciate it all your comments 
um, and everything. Your love is amazing. Your prayers are outstanding. I feel them every single day. And I want you all to know how much I love you. So peace out. That's how we roll. God bless you. I'll pray for you in hopes that you pray for me. Do something for yourself today so you can do something for someone else tomorrow. Or do something for someone else today so you can do something for yourself tomorrow. God bless. Ta-da. Ta-da. Hi, guys. I'm back. I've actually been out. I got a little bit of walking done. I am on a very strong pain medication because uh, the pain got too too much for me. So they put me on a, a very strong pain medication. But look, <laughs> I was able to get 2,092 steps in today. Uh, <clears throat> I had a car come around and take us down to Pandy so we could go gambling to the casino and that was fun. We stayed like um, six hours and of course I can't sit and stand or lay or anything like that so I walked around very slow with my canes and uh, I went into the charity shop. I'll show you a little bit of what I got at the charity shop in a few minutes but I want to show you some more of my bargains that I got in Iceland. Um, they had a really big sale on all their Weight Watcher things. Uh, some of the products that I really enjoy, so I'm going to show you those now. Um, this one is the macaroni and cheese. And it is a main meal. It's eight pro points on Weight Watchers. Uh, one of my favorite ones. It's really nice. All you really have to do to this product is add a little bit of white pepper and it is so good. It's seven pro points. It's the Tagatelli Bolognese and as you see as the main meal is 284 points. I had two of those. They were just a pound a piece. Um, and these things are amazing. Um, Belgium Eclairs you can see Belgium Eclairs. There's six in the box. They're 83 calories each and two points each. And mom loves these and I do as well. And we don't get them because they're so, so fatty when they're made fresh in Greg's. So uh, I've got these on offer for one pound. Um, so yeah. <laughs> That's another Weight Watchers uh, product. And then the one that I've tried to order several times that I used to get all the time are the oven chips. They're five points for 12 chips. They're big, nice steak, steak fries. And they're normally well over two to three pounds uh, for a packet. Um, <clears throat> and the calories is one set 175 calories 3.1 protein fat is 3 and fiber is 3.5 um, and it is uh, 400 grams so it's roughly 12 chips so that's the other product I got Weight Watchers oven chips and they are absolutely beautiful so I wanted some of these uh, I like to bake them in the oven and uh, have that with my fish, my oven fish, um, or just have this on Weight Watchers bread with a little bit of mayo or mustard and have a sandwich, which is really nice. So those are a little bit of my shopping haul, and I'll be back in a few minutes and show you my thrift, my thrift um, shopping haul. Oh, yes, I won. Of course I won. I've been playing poker since I was like two years old. So I won a little bit and, oh, well, much more than I went out with. So <clears throat> that made me feel really good. Even though I'm suffering through the pain, I am in a lot of pain. Uh, I made it through and I had a nice, nice time out. Good music, um, a good cup of coffee, 
and some people that I hadn't seen in nine, ten weeks, because I haven't been out or anywhere, um, had a, a driver come and pick us up and take us from the door to where we wanted to go. And then uh, one of my friends called the driver again to come and pick us up from there and brought us back home. So, because I can't climb these mountains, there's no way. <clears throat> my back is just uh, too very, too very bad. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, guys, I'm back. I was just going to show you some of the stuff that I got at the thrift shop. Um, this is one of the pieces that I got. It's a big clip. Hair clip. Isn't that cute? Come on. It's only 50p. So that's one of the ones I got. I always look for unusual ones. And this is another one. This is a banana clip. And I like these, and they're very, very hard to find. Um, this one is brand new, and it, let's see if I can show you. On the top of it, you just kind of press it around like that, and then it comes apart. See all the little diamond studs on it? But I like these the way they hook around the side. And they stay, and they don't make me have a headache when I wear it in my hair. I had a brown one like this. It's, um, it was an oriental one, and I had it for probably 10 years. And then last summer, it broke. I think someone stepped on it. I don't know, you know, but anyway, it was broken. And I've had a lot of trouble finding one ever since then. You just can't go to a certain shop and, and pick one up anymore. The, the kind that they usually make have the things where they grasp on both ends. Well, this one only unclasps on one end, and it stays connected on the following on the bottom end. And when you put it in your hair, it doesn't um, it doesn't slip, and it's not too tight, and it doesn't cause headache because um, I get headaches. So I gave one pound for that. Um, this is another product that I got. It is peppermint tea tree um, body lotion, and it's not been opened. It's brand new. Hold on, let's see. You can see it's not been opened, and uh, I'm going to open it and smell of it right now. Oh my gosh. That smells like heaven. Tea tree is really good for you. Um, and it's got peppermint and tea tree in it. Uh, body lotion. Oh, it smells so good. But, uh, yeah, I give 50p for that. Which, if you're in America, that's about 76 cents. 80 cents, somewhere around in there. So I had that. And, um, oh, about two and a half months ago when I was out at the charity shop the last time, I had bought two big containers of uh, a powder called Far Away, and it smells so, so nice. Of course, I rub that powder on my tummy and stuff like that, and it's really good about keeping uh, moisture and stuff away. But when I was in the shop this afternoon, it's the charity shop I love, you know, the cancer shop, I found this bottle. It was in the casing, and I asked the lady, I said, um, is that a full bottle of perfume? And she said, let's check. So, um, these things are really, really expensive. I'll show you now. Isn't that pretty? smells so good. I got that bottle of perfume for four pounds. Whoops. Oh, it smells so amazing. I haven't had any new perfume in a very, very long time, so I got that. 
uh, for four pounds, which is really, really inexpensive and a really good, a really good find. I also got um, some new lipstick. This is a mauve glitter mauve, and it was only 30p. They're brand new. They were sealed up and everything. It's called uh, Pacific UK um, uh, Mauve Batch. And then I got another one that's a little more pinky. And, um, oh, it's Pacific UK Peach Batch. So, um, I mean Pink Batch. So, it's really, really cute. Only 30 pence I gave for that. So, that'd be like 50, p uh, 50 cents for you if you're in America. Or maybe like 45 cents. Um, let's see what else I got. I'll show you. Now... I know a lot of you know how expensive Mary Kay products are, and so I had this product, which I absolutely love. When I sold Mary Kay, this product was one of my most favorite products, and one of my biggest sellers. It's the um, Satin Hand Set, and you know how expensive they are, very, very expensive. Well, here in Wales in the United Kingdom they are even more expensive so hold on one second Let's see if I can show you this a little better it comes in its um, in its casing it's it is 100% Mary Kay product um, <clears throat> and this product right here in itself is worth a bomb I think this product alone is like twenty twenty dollars uh, for the extra emollient night cream, this stuff is really thick. It puts like a glove onto your hand and makes your hand really, really um, protected. If you're washing dishes or anything like that, then you won't have the spreading of the, you know, the around the cuticles and things like that. It'll all be just really, really, really nice. Um, and the ter uh, Sola, uh body scrub. This stuff smells absolutely amazing. And then the Terme Solo um, Body Wash. Guys, this stuff is absolutely outstanding. And then we got the Satin Hands Hand Cream. Um, this, like I said, it uh, the Satin Hands Hand Cream is, um, it just puts an extra coating onto your skin so that uh, onto your hands so that you don't uh, have all the fraying around your cuticles and things like that so for this um, four products and trust me when I say these things are absolutely amazing I sold Mary Kay for a couple of years and I know exactly what they cost and um, I got a real bargain. I only paid three pounds, which is about four dollars and sixty cents. Uh, it comes with the uh, satin hands peppering set. Uh, it shows you how to do each one and everything. But that's what I got, and that one was three pounds for the whole little set. There's my perfume. The Far and Away Full Bottle Perfume for four pounds. My All My Mary Kay products for three pounds. My Tea Tree Body uh, Lotion for 50p. My uh, new Banana Clip for a pound. And two lipsticks for 30 pence each. And you know I'm a book lover, so I wanted to make sure I had the whole set of my Charlene Harris books. So, um, in remembering what I've already got in, uh, in place in my room, I picked up these books. They're all buy one, get one free. These books are normally £7.99, which is about uh, $12.99 uh, $12 in America. So, I got Dead as a Doornail. I got uh, Charlene Harris's Dead to the World. And I got uh, Living Dead in Dallas. Right? So there were 
two pound ninety nine buy one get one free and I got the Breaking Dawn Stephanie Meyer book now I've read this three times already but I did not have the book and I really really love the hardback books so this book was the, it's the whole Breaking Dawn uh, book it's been taken well care of um, very mint condition and I got three pound and fifty pence for that so and given three pound fifty for that one I got one of these three so I spent um, two ninety nine and three fifty so that's six pound fifty so that I give for four books what one book less than one book would have cost by itself as you can see right there in the United Kingdom it's seven pound ninety nine each book and um, this hard copy of this one I have the only two I don't have is the new moon and the eclipse I have twilight and now have breaking dawn and I have a copy of the eclipse um, but it is not in very good shape and uh, yeah, I love books, guys. I absolutely adore books. So these are going to go to my collection. Even Guys, I have a Kindle. And uh, I read all my books on my Kindle. I do audio books on my Nokia and this and that. And the last product that I bought is this. I When I first looked at it, I thought, is that perfume? <laughs> But no, it was something that I've really been needing. It's a brush set. I'm just going to flip these out here and show you. <clears throat> Come in a container. I give a pound for it. Sorry. It's got the big blusher brush. It's got a medium brush. And a small brush uh, for foundation makeup. And then a brush. Blush brush. It has two emery boards. Uh, the set is brand new. Everything I got is brand new except for the books. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Your eyebrow pencil. And then we have just some regular uh, eyeshadow pencils. And they're all very well taken care of. This, they're all in good shape. And then there is a eyeshadow brush. And then um, <clears throat> this one is a lipstick brush, and two more of the, the makeup brushes. So as you can see, see there all the brushes that I got for one pound, which is like I said about a dollar fifty-seven to you uh, in America. So that is my thrift store shopping haul, my books my um, makeup brushes with its own container my Mary Kay um, body scrub body lotion night cream and uh, uh, satin hands in there that's a, a, an amazing this in this country is about 45 pounds for everything that's in here so I gave three pounds for that this perfume the faraway perfume is about 29.99 and I gave four pounds for that and this tea tree stuff is expensive as well and I wouldn't say that it's probably over 450 to five pounds but I gave 50p for that <clears throat> So there you have my um, thrift shop haul. <laughs> I think I did very well. I only spent 17 pounds. And uh, I even won that money back. So that's a little bit of my thrift shop shopping haul. Along with that, I love things like that. As long as it doesn't make you have a headache. Alright guys. So there you have my little bit of a shopping spree. Um, I couldn't do too much. Because you know money's tight. But I always enjoy um, donating and giving to the cancer shop. And uh, I was lucky to find some little things that I really enjoy. Now they have an elliptical in the cancer shop. Elliptical machine. 
and it's 95 pounds so I don't know if uh, any part of our budget will allow me to have that so that when I'm able to do that I'll have one in the house to use um, but these things are very very expensive so I'll just have to see wait and see alright guys peace out that's how we roll God bless you all I'll pray for you in hopes that you pray for me do something for yourself today so you can do something for someone else tomorrow or do something for someone else today so you can do something for yourself tomorrow God bless. Ta-da.